one of the main tenets of progressive education is, is learning by doing. It's not all happening at a seat from a textbook. We work really hard to get kids either out of the classroom into our school's woods and brooks and gardens or off-site to um, the farm with which we have a relationship, um, the three museums with which we have a collaboration. We want them to understand it's, it's not just by listening uh, that we learn, it's by actually doing that there is meaningful um, connection between what the teacher's trying to get across and, and what the kids are learning. And they did it, nice job, yes. So an example of that, our sixth graders are studying erosion in sixth grade science. Our kids are, are out in our brook with their boots on, looking at, at various segments of it where neighbors have tried to solve erosion problems, maybe by adding cement to their bank or placing tires under their bank or doing nothing and and examining what has happened to that brook. What do, what do the banks look like? What what are, what are How much are the trees' roots exposed? And what do they think caused that? And at the end of this project, uh, these kids will, guided by their teacher, come away with the same concepts about erosion and the power of water and, and all of the topics in their sixth grade earth science book that they could have learned by sitting at a desk and reading a chapter and watching a PowerPoint uh, and doing worksheets, but they will remember it forever because they have actually experienced the concept. We have a lot of benchmarks in our school, things that kids are, are waiting for in um, their life here that, that are traditions and that they're excited about. And one of them is knitting in fourth grade. Fourth grade is such a, an academically robust year because developmentally kids are ready for so many things in fourth grade. But they do know that their service learning for that year is that they will be knitting you know, hats for newborns or scarves to send to uh, soldiers. I mean, they are going to have a knitting project that year that lasts for the entire year. It's about being patient. It's about being consistent. But in the end, it's really about uh, the joy of learning a process and feeling really good about completing something and giving it to someone. When Mrs. Gordon's science class is thinking about form and function and they're looking at bird beaks and when kids try to construct or you know simulate the beak of different kinds of birds and try to um, pick up different kinds of foods with them and find out that they either can or they can't. There's a great aha moment in, oh, now I get it. Now I know why this particular bird eats this particular thing because they lived it as the bird. So whether it is understanding the mathematical concept to accomplish the patterning of a, of a Rubik's Cube or programming a robot and understanding the math behind the programming or uh, using an iPad to film a classmate's speech and come up with a product in the end that is a beautiful visual and a, a great audio version of what your classmate did for the entire school. These are all examples of kids learning these things by actually doing them. We have the luxury of taking the time to do that because we think it's meaningful. And our teachers really understand uh, how, how, how lucky we all are as a school to be able to run that kind of a classroom where they could have a healthy place to, to grow and learn.